The struggle with the devil is ancient and ongoing, and it will not end until, our souls, come out from our bodies. As long as the souls are in the bodies, as the struggle continues, then the devil will not calm down, while he sees us worshipping God Almighty, because, he was our father Adam peace and blessings be upon him, he was the reason for his departure from heaven, and God expelled him, from his mercy, and when the devil asked God, to remain, and the devil said, look at me until the day they are resurrected, and the devil said, give me my life, give me the long life, so God the exalted and majestic gave the straight. So the war started between us, and the devil, since that date. The devil passed on the smart, and stupid person and passed the hot and cold on him, and passed all kinds of people on him, so that you are in danger, and in a speech that devil has, a throne on the water, and every day, the boss of devils, meets with his devils, meaning every one of us has a devil entrusted to him, so if the devil meets him and his devil in the council of ministers, and the devil ask what you did, then one of them says, that I did not leave him, until I made him commit adultery. The boss of devils said, you did nothing. The other devil said, I made him did not do anything. The boss of devils said you did nothing. And the third devil said, I did not leave him, until he eats usury. The devil said you did nothing like others, and the fourth said, I did not leave him until, he divorced his wife. The boss of devils was proud, because this devil did the right thing. The devil as subtle that he knows the secret of each one of us, so who one loves the money and devils comes to him. And among us, who loves fames comes the demon of fame, and from us who loves women, the demon of women comes to him, so every person has access as devil's steps. The devil did not come to you directly to fall guilty to you. He would gradually step down and wait for you, if he knew that you would, will be distracted after 15 years. I will tell you here the story of the monk, who was with the children of Israel, named Persis, this monk, was a worshipper, a hermit, worshipping in his cell, he does not mix with people, and devotes himself to God, and devil was very keen to seduce this monk, he wants to destroy anyone will go to heaven, and he started trying to do it with this monk. He tried to come in which he called, something that is forbidden. He tried to discourage him, from worshipping what he could. He tried to make him mix with people as he could. Hence Ibn al-Qaim said the hearts of the three servants. One of them is like the impregnable palace of the guards, which has treasure and the second. A house with no guards, or treasure on it, its ruin, and then the thief, that is, the devil, came. Would he go to the palace, and be killed before he reaches, the treasure or goes to the ruin, and he will be stolen from ruin, have you ever heard of someone, who attacked the people's house and stole his rubbish, and fled what becomes? Or he goes to this house that is not fortified, with treasure and steals what he wants. As for the first, the heart of the believer who fortified him, and hung him with God, what the devil can easily over him, and if he can find that this destroys what the devil built, by repentance, by proxy, by going back with good deeds that wipe out bad deeds, and the second said, the heart of the unaware believer, we pray the morning and pray the noon and afternoon and whatever he wants God is upon us, and if the night comes, we surveyed all that, we collected in the morning, we wiped. All of us together, we work hard and sit back. Ten years while, we are in obedience, then we, lose our deeds. Devil in the monk tried to enter his heart as much as he could, whenever he entered a door, he met with a dead end, and one day the vulva comes to the devil, there were three brothers and they had a sister, and they wanted to travel, and they did not want to go where their sister. So they consulted among themselves, 
the devil came to them the bloodstream, so he gave them advice and opinion, and he said, what do you think, that you should take your sister to the monk, to the good monk, you will not find safer from him on my daughter, then they went to him and said, O oh monk, O oh, good man, we have a sister, we will keep her with you, then we will go, the monk said, I seek refuge in God, your sister keep her with me, God forbid, and God did not leave her here for me, of course, the devil is sitting, trying to give him hints, because the devil, sometimes gives you a full hour's lecture, so what, after a strenuous effort, the monk agreed to, put the girl in a room near him. This monk every day makes sure that, the food came at this girl, and looks at the door and once the days and the monk makes sure of eating unless, the devil comes to him, and says to him go and see her face. The monk wanted to hear the girl's voice, and he entered and knocked the door, she said who knocks on the door? The monk first heard the girl's voice. Look at the devil, how does he involve you in guilt and flee? The monk said, oh, the devil, may God's curse be upon you. How did he involve me? After that, he prayed in his mind, whoever knocks on the door, and after a while devil told him what you think, he said to make sure, and speak to her, invite her to God, may God guide her on your hands, teach her to pray, and obey. Then after that, she actually opened the door, and the monk looked at her and she put the food and returned, now the monk's heart is attached to her, the voice is heard, the word after the word, the word after the word with the passage of three days. But the devil worked on the monk for a whole year, until he heard, and even spoke and even arrived until he entered the girl's room, until he was raped her. Then, after that, he signed forbidden things, and when he fell in the forbidden, the monk escaped, from the town, and went to his cell and started, crying at night, and during the day, as he repented, preached to God. And after a while devil, came to the monk and said, Monk, this woman is pregnant, what do you do if the brothers come? The monk said, what a disaster. What is the solution, what is the solution, the devil said to the monk, kill her and bury her. After the criminal investigations, they arrested the monk, and the governor ordered, that the monk be killed, and the devil, came to the monk for the last time, and said to him, I who made you live next to you, and I who seduced you, and I who reported you, and I who will save you from death. Just do for me, how much I command you now, what is that? The devil said, prostrate to me and disbelieve in God. The monk said, how do I kneel while I am attached to your heart? The devil said, bone me, and worship me. So the monk prostrate to the devil. These are the steps of the devil. Do you think, that if, the devil comes to you about the topic of prayer, and delays you from prayer, and it delays you from residency, and so on? Salat al-Mu'min is the permanent bulwark, which is reading the Quran daily. Especially Surat al kaw Guys, young women, fortify yourself by reading the Quran. Follow the Sunnah of Allah and His Messenger, and you will be one of the winners on the Day of Resurrection.